Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, we will see an interesting question. See, to enforce the uniqueness of a column, we can either create a unique index or a unique constraint. So the question is, what is the difference between both and when to use what? Okay, the first point is, whenever we create a unique constraint on a column, Oracle automatically creates a unique index. So the underlying concept is there is an index behind the scene which ensures or enforces the uniqueness of the column. But I just want to stress one more point, but not always. That means it's not necessary that Oracle always has to create a unique index. Okay. So let us understand better this point with two examples. So here is the first example. I'm creating a table called T1, which consists of two columns, C1 and C2. So just now I have created the table and I'm not creating any constraint or index on this table. So just, just before creating a constraint, let us just quickly check the user constraint data dictionary table, just to ensure that there is no constraint here. Obviously there is no index. So we, I'm just querying from the user indexes just to show you that there is no index on this table. Fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a unique constraint on the column C1. Okay, so here is the alter statement. Let me just execute this alter statement. Now if you see, we just added a unique constraint on the column C1. Now let us check the user constraint data dictionary. Obviously, there will be one constraint in this table because we just now added a unique constraint. You can see that the constraint name is T1 underscore UNK what we just now added and it is a unique constraint on the table T1. Fine. Now let us check the user index data dictionary for the table. You can see here that one index is there. That means whenever we create a unique constraint, Oracle automatically creates a unique index to enforce the uniqueness. Fine. Now we'll see one more example to see that Oracle is not going to create the in unique index always. Fine. Let us check. Let us see one more example. So here I am trying to create another table called T2, which consists of two columns, C1 and C2. Now, if you see, I am creating an index. See, I am not creating a unique index here. I am just creating a non-unique B3 index on column C1 and C2. That is, it is a composite index. Fine. Let me just create this index. Now the index is created. Now let me query from the user constraint data dictionary table just to show you that there is no constraint right now on this table T2. So now let me query from user index data dictionary. Obviously there is one index called T2 underscore INX what we just now created. It is a composite index and as you can see here the uniqueness column it is a non unique index. It's not a unique index, it's a non-unique index, fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a unique constraint on this C1 column. So I'm just, here is the alter statement. I'm just executing this alter statement. As you can see here, the table is altered to add a unique constraint on C1 column. Now let me query from the user constraint. As expected, there is one constraint created called T2 underscore UNK. It is a unique constraint on table T2, that's fine. Now let us query from the user index uh, data dictionary. Here there is no additional indexes created. Previously there was one index, even after creating the constraint, there is only one index. So this is what I just want to say. Whenever we create a unique constraint, Oracle may or may not create the index. In case if the particular column is not part of any index or if there is no index created on that column, either as a simple index or as a composite index, then Oracle may create an index. Otherwise, Oracle will not create an index. So this is the first point. So the second point is unique constraint is mainly for data integrity purpose, whereas unique index is for the performance improvement. I just want to stress this point because unique constraint is mainly to enforce the data integrity and unique index is for the, obviously the indexes are for performance improvement. So the third point is 
we can create a foreign key over a unique constraint only not on a column having a unique index so if you have a plan to use that column to, for a foreign key references then you create a unique constraint rather than a unique index okay the last point is that sometimes we might be interested in create only the unique index not a unique constraint i will show you an example for this point now so here is a table called employee underscore t1 which consists of information about employee job and the working status whether he is resigned or he is still working in the organization in case if he is resigned the employee id will be updated to minus 9999 otherwise there will be an employee id assigned to each employee so the requirement here is that you need to check the uniqueness of the working employees only for resigned people you should not check the uniqueness but whereas for the people who are working in the organization the employee id should be unique so in this case we will not be able to use the unique constraint whereas we can create the unique index to enforce the uniqueness of the column of employee who are working for example i'll, I'll just show you the uh, index create unique index creation statement so here i am creating a unique index using in fact this is like a function based index i am checking if the employee id is 999 then just consider null otherwise employee id so when we create it like this here still it creates a unique index only but it will not check for the resigned employees because whenever there is a resigned employee or employee id is minus 999 we are considering null to be uh, null as a value obviously the null values will not be indexed so except those records the rest of the records only will be indexed so thereby we will be able to uh, enforce the uniqueness only for the partial records of the table i am trying to update the employee id 10 with employee id 1 obviously it will throw an error saying that unique constraint violated uh, whereas when we are trying to update with minus 9999 it won't throw an error because we are checking the uniqueness only for the records that doesn't have minus 9999 as a value. If you learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview questions, SQL practical question and concept videos. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. And thanks a lot for watching this video.